The third stage of labor is delivery of the placenta. So after the baby's delivered, the next thing that has to happen is the placenta has to come out. Placenta is also called afterbirth. The placenta is the tissue that has the blood supply uh, that interfaces the blood supply between the baby and the mom to get the oxygen and the nutrients to the baby um, uh, when the baby's living in the womb. Once the baby's out, that placenta has to separate and come out. The placenta often comes out immediately after delivery within a minute or two, but can sometimes be delayed and take as much as 20 or 30 minutes to come out. Generally speaking, the placenta comes out and that's the end of it. The placenta then is usually just destroyed or occasionally sent to what's called pathology if somebody's worried about a problem where a pathologist, which is a doctor that looks at tissues, can examine it and make sure that there isn't anything wrong with it. Occasionally people want to take their placenta home, um, and that is certainly your right, it is your placenta, um, but if you take a look at one, they're pretty gross actually. Um, there are some things that can go wrong with this stage of labor. Sometimes the placenta fails to separate. In that case, we need to do what's called a manual extraction of the placenta. And that's where we go in with our hands and separate it from the wall of the uterus and remove it. If you have an epidural, that can be done comfortably. If not, we often have to use anesthesia uh, to make that comfortable for you. The other thing that can happen is what's called a cord avulsion, where the cord breaks off from the placenta, then it's very difficult to get the placenta out, and again, a manual extraction of the placenta has to happen. Those are rare um, and uh, commonly um, aren't necessary, um, but those are things uh, that can happen. Once the placenta is out, we usually give you medicine called Pitocin, which helps your uterus contract to decrease the amount of blood loss that you have. There's always a lot of blood that comes out after delivery. Don't be worried if you feel or see that. Um, that's normal. Uh, sometimes there can be excessive bleeding. Pitocin will help decrease that. There are other medicines that can be given as well, such as methogen or hemabate, um, if the bleeding um, does get out of control. So there's a lot of things that we can do. Um, but generally, we will give you some medicine in your IV or as a shot, and that helps contract the uterus and decrease your blood loss so you won't be so anemic after having your baby. MedTwice.com